What's new in Open Admin Tool or OAT version 3.11 for Informics? Hi everyone, I'm Sumant Rajagopal, software engineer at IBM, working on Open Admin Tool. There are several new capabilities in OAT for anyone interested in monitoring or administering Informix database servers. In this presentation, we'll introduce this, these new features covering mobile, analytics, storage, SQL, grid, access privileges, and other areas. Most of these features have more in-depth presentations. In this presentation, we'll focus on seeing the new visual elements. The more in-depth feature presentations demonstrate the functionality by showing more detailed mouse click sequence of the capabilities. As before, OAT is packaged with IBM Informix client SDK and the server. Let's start with mobile. We now have a new client for mobile devices such as smartphones and tablets running on Apple's iOS and Google's Android operating systems. You can view the status of multiple Informix servers and drill down into each of them for more monitoring information. On this page, we log in to see a list of servers that belong to this group. We choose one of the servers to further drill down and monitor it. We can view the logs and alerts. Memory, space and I.O. information. There are several other pages and settings possible in mobile out. Mobile out, like the desktop version, is supported in 14 languages. Now let's look at what's new in the desktop version of out. The login page has been redesigned based on usability feedback, preserving all the elements of the previous login page with the addition of the test connection button, which lets you test if the server is online before proceeding with login. A welcome page is now the default home page on login. From here, Several customizations of OAT can be done, including setting a custom home page, managing connections, plugins, menus, and the dashboard. Getting started links pointing to server status, performance history, and storage management modules within OAT are available as a handy reference from here. Links to more information about OAT and Informix and to online forums are also available on this page. This page can be accessed from anywhere in OAT by clicking the welcome page link next to the context help link on the top right of the OAT page. A similar welcome page has also been added to the admin section. A group summary tab now lets you monitor the vital stats of multiple servers simultaneously from a single page. Vital stats being whether the server is online or not, number of alerts, CPU memory and space usage, IO activity, backup status, and number of current sessions. Each of the cells on this grid can be clicked for more information and links to the relevant section with an OAT. Next, let's look at what's new in storage management. Simple large objects that are in DB spaces as opposed to blob spaces can now be compressed. An estimation of space savings of these objects are also supported. Automatic compression can be enabled here in the storage page or a table creation time and schema manager. When the minimum required 2000 rows are in the table, compression starts automatically. 
this icon with a check mark with a clock on top indicates that this table has automatic compression enabled in it. Now let's look at where automatic compression is enabled in the create table wizard in the schema manager. Index compression and estimates can now be done on the storage page. It can also be enabled in the index creation wizard here. For an index to be compressed, there needs to be a minimum of 2000 unique keys on the index. Next, let's look at automatic backups. Configure whole system backups with onbar by tuning the backup speed, number of generations to retain, and other onbar parameters. Additionally, schedule level 0, 1, and 2 periodic backups based on your big backup requirements, or run an on-demand backup. View logs of the backup activity. Also, modify the configuration or switch to an on-tape backup configuration. On this page you can see the status and schedule of backups. Here you can schedule an on-demand or immediate backup. Here you see the backup in progress. The backup is now complete. configuration page to tune the backup parameters, the logs tab to see a history of backup commands and their results. Now let's look at login privileges for individual users other than the Informix user. With Informix version 12.10 and 3.11, you can now manage SQL admin API privileges for individual users. Individual users can be granted privileges to administer the database server. Privilege groups identify which SQL admin API commands a user can run and determine which features the user can access in OAT. This functionality frees OAT from the requirement that all users must log in as the user informix. Once a certain user has been granted access to a set of SQL Admin API privileges, the user can log in to OAT using their own user ID. That user can now monitor and administer the Informix database server as themselves. Security is enhanced when all users are using their own user IDs instead of sharing the common Informix account. You can now use OAT to administer the Informix Warehouse Accelerator or IWA. Use OAT to create and drop accelerators. Create, drop, enable, disable and load data marts. Creation of the data mart is by workload analysis. 
where the users would run their query workload and the server analyzes the queries and creates the mart. Three kinds of data mart loads are supported. You may do a full load. In a data warehouse, that could potentially be a long running operation. So two other kinds of loads could quicken this process. One is to update only the changed partitions at periodic intervals and the other is to load as the data is being inserted. These two methods help bring the data mart up to date in near real time. Here you see information about the IWA server or the accelerator server on the host XMAC3. XM3 Square is an accelerator in XMAC3. So here you see all the data marts that are in the accelerator XM3 Square. You could click on one of the data marts on the far right column to see more details about the data mart. Here are the different kinds of data mart loads that can be scheduled. Next, let's talk about rolling window tables. Control the size of tables that have an interval table fragmentation strategy by automatically removing fragments when a table contains more than a maximum number of fragments or is greater than a maximum total size. Configure policies for removal or detachment of the fragments. This comes in handy in embedded applications and other areas where a limited amount of space has to be maintained automatically without direct intervention. Let's see the rolling window options while creating a table in Schema Manager. In Schema Manager, you can now create the demo database and load it. Next, let's look at grid queries. In a flexible grid setup, queries can now be run across all or a subset of the nodes. This adds a level of virtualization between the query and the sources of the result set. The query result is presented by combining the results from across the nodes of a grid or a subset of them. To be able to run grid queries, tables need to be part of a grid table list, which can be enabled from the Schema Manager plugin in OAT. New capability called Regions to define subsets of the Informix Flexible Grid is now possible. Regions can be administered in OAT from the grid page. And grid queries can be run in OAT from the query by example or QBE page. Select a region from the left navigation menu. The actions that can be performed on a grid region. In the QBE page, Grid queries can be run across the entire grid or a region of the grid. Next, let's view extent and buffer pool usage in a graphical display. 
you can view graphs of the number of extents in databases or the percentage of cached pages in the buffer pools for databases on the graphs page. This type of graph is also called a heat map or a tree map. Use the drop down controls at the top of this page to choose the type of data to graph and to filter by a particular database. Finally, Apache and PHP components shipped with OAT have been upgraded for increased stability and enhanced security of the web server environment. This slide shows the versions of Apache, PHP and certain other components that ship with OAT 3.11. This concludes the overview of the new features in OAT 3.11. Thank you very much.